Hello everyone, so I thought to make a video about joules heating uh, specifically in numerical simulation that we generally use. So today we will try to break down the fundamental equation that governs joule heating, understand how they are derived and see how they are implemented in simulation. This discussion is designed for our beginners who are just starting to work on thermal or electrical or batteries or similar studies. Joule heating, also known as resistive heating, is a phenomena where electrical energy is converted into heat due to resistance of the material to electric current flow. This effect plays a crucial role in many applications including electronic circuit power distribution system, MEMS, heat elements and so on. So the heat generation in a conductor due to joule sitting is given by the relation Q is equal to J dot E. Okay, where Q is the heat generated per unit volume, J is the current density vector and E is the electric field vector. This equation states that the local heat generation rate is the dot product of the current density and the electric field. Now from Ohm's law or Ohm's law as we pronounce, we know that current density J is related to electric field E in a conductor and is given by sigma times E where sigma is the electrical connectivity of the material and now if we try to substitute this into the power equation we will actually get Q is equal to sigma and E square or you can modify the expression to write this as J square by sigma. This means that heat generation is proportional to square of the current density and inversely proportional to the electrical connectivity. So once a uh, heat is generated due, due to joule heating, it propagates through the material via heat conduction. Now the governing equation for heat conduction in Fourier heat equation is we have a rho Cp del T by del T minus delta dot K delta T and this is equal to Q. Okay, here the capital T is the temperature, K is the thermal connectivity, rho is the density, Cp is the specific heat capacity, Q is the heat source term. Now for steady state analysis, we remove the time dependent term and then we can write delta dot K del T plus Q is equal to zero. Now this equation tells us how the temperature distribution evolves in a conductor when joule heating is present. So maybe we can quickly discuss an example and that way it will be easy to understand. So let's apply this to a simple example in a copper wire carrying current. So let us take the uh, length. So we'll take the length equal to 10 centimeter, the radius to be 0.5 5 mm let's say the potential drop we have is 10 volt now the electrical connectivity let us take 5.8 into 10 to the power 7 same and per meter and thermal connectivity we can take 385 watt per meter Kelvin and Cp 
let us take 385 and the density of copper will take around let's say 8960 so all these values are quite close okay now if we have to calculate the resistance we know that r is equal to l by sigma a right now if we calculate the value so area will be pi r square and then if we just plug in the values this will be 0 0.1 by sigma and a so i just calculated the value and it is coming around 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power minus 4 ohm okay now let us calculate the current so you know i is equal to v by r and since v is 10 in our problem so we'll get the value v by r to be around 10 by the value of resistance that we got and we'll get around 45.5 amps right now if we have to calculate the joules heating power so basically the power dissipated due to joules hitting the formula is p equal to i square r so this will basically be i square that is the value that we have got and we have the value of resistance so if we do r square r the value will come around to be 0 0.45 watt and if we have to compute the heat generation rate per unit volume so in that case we can actually calculate it so we'll have p by v now p we calculated it 0 0.45 and volume is basically the volume of the cylinder that is pi r square times the length so if we plug in the value for volume of the cylinder we will get q around to be 1.8 into 10 power 6 watt per meter cube right this heat source term uh, is used in the heat conduction equation to determine the temperature distribution basically right so if you do this kind of uh, small examples you will have a rough idea how you are actually generating the heat when there is some uh, current flow and due to joules heating and stuff what is the temperature rise and so on so i guess this short video was useful to just brush up your knowledge about joules heating thank you for watching and if you have any suggestion do comment your thoughts and any topic suggestion that you want to be discussed thank you and have a great day